So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on this, you want to copy and paste these four commands, which will be down below in the description. So I'm just going to start for the first one. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Then you want to copy and paste the next three commands. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to check for updates and do the updates that you may have. Now for the third step, you want to download the mfplat.dl missing file on your Roblox player. We're going to replace it. So you want to head over to the link which will be down below in the description. Then you want to head over to this website, scroll down and then just get the latest version download. Now I've got the download right here on my desktop. I'm going to right click on my desktop, create a new folder. Then I'm going to right click on the zip file and then drag it into the new folder and then extract it. And then click on extract. And then you're going to get the mfplat.dl right here. Now once you have this file right here, we're going to head over to search and type in Roblox player. Then we're going to right click on Roblox player, click on open file location. Then you want to right click on Roblox player again and click on open file location again. Now once you're on this, we're just going to copy and paste this file into the Roblox player game files. So just click on Control C then Control V, which will paste this right here. Now for the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're gonna click on our C drive and then click on Windows. Then we're gonna scroll down and then click on SYS WoW 64. Then we're just gonna drag the same DOL file into this folder. And then click on replace this file and destination. In your case, it will just add it, but I've already got it, so that's why it says replace the file for me. Once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.